Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at our YouTube channel where we learn a lot about in the Mastercam. Till the date, we learn about the Mastercam Lathe, Mastercam Mill, Mastercam Mill 3D, Mastercam Multi-Axis and now we will start a new chapter and that is known as a Milton. Before we starting to learn about the Milton, I would like to welcome all of you guys on a very new happy in a new year and that's the 2023. So I wish you a happy new year to everyone. I hope that new year will bring a lot of happiness and you will learn a lot and grow in this year. So now let we have to start on how the mil what is the Milton? What is the Milton different as compared to the milling and turning? And what is the method to create the tool paths on a Milton? Each of the person who want to learn about the Milton or who don't have a knowledge of the Milton for that person. I would like to tell you on the basis of the salary base if a person in India who have a knowledge of Milton module or Milton concept so that person can get a very good salary up to 1 lakh rupees easily because any Milton machine which is available in the market that's starting with the price of 1.5 crore and plus so if you a person who is working on a machine which market value is 1.5 and plus so that time his owner can easily pay you to program that machine up to 1 lakh rupees so if you want to grow quickly if you want to grow rapidly I would like to suggest each and every single person start to learn about the Milton module start to learn about the multi-axis start to learn and start to work on your skill so you can grow on your skill and you can grow on your salary so let me came to the Milton modules so what is a Milton module and what is the different as compared to the milling and turning now we have to came on the machine so in a general way there are the multiple things like as if we have a milling machine so what is a milling machine in a milling machine generally we are using a tool like as and mill all, all, all these things which we are using to cut a component on a 3 axis, 4 axis and 5 axis and in a turning what we do we clamp our workpiece in a spindle and where we cut our part with the help of a turning tool with the help of a grooving tool with the help of something this kind of tool now the question is what is different as compared to the milling and turning the Milton module it means Milton module may milling or lathe module ke compare me kya difference hota hai so in a milton module we can access the turning tool paths as well as the milling tool path as you can see here we can access all the turning tool path and in here at here we can access all the milling tool path so we will create a component with the help of with the help of all the turning tool path with the help of all the milling tool path it means at here the workpiece which we are that is we always hold on a spindle and after holding this kind of workpiece on a spindle we will use a turning on that one part and after once we completed the turning we can if needed the milling area or milling tool path so we can also perform the milling tool paths so in today video I would like to show you a component which I already created in a proper way I would like to show you the simulation of that part that how Milton machines are going to be work and what the things that we have to perform to create this part. So in the next tutorial I would show you step by step how you can create that component and in this first step in this tutorial I would like to show you the simulation file. So if in a Milton if you want to check the simulation in a proper simulation you have to click on G1 once we click on a g1 so what is happening a new window will going to be open generally the milton machines have heavy these kind of machines are very heavy so it will your system configuration should be needed in a higher version so now as you can see here now i just open a milton module so as you can see here there is a new window is blinking as right at here and now I have to click on a launch 
once I click on a launch so that time our proper simulation window will getting to be open and where I can check all the toolpath simulation how the toolpaths are getting to be work and all these things so in a today's session I am creating a workpiece and this is my model this is my stock so I just trans make my stock in a transform way and this is my workpiece so I can cross verify the both in a proper way and this machine is a Majak integrated i100 ST what is the meaning of ST? ST means we have a one spindle and we have a one turret it means we can hold our tool right at here and in this machine there are the two spindle one spindle is right at here which is used to holding the workpiece and the second spindle is right at here which is used to hold the workpiece now I would like to show you the first the simulation of this one machine so you will get an idea understand about that how these kind of machines are getting to be work so I just start to play this one now have a look so guys ready to watch this keep in a patience and watch step by step all these things how these kind of very advanced machines are working so at this one position there is a tool changer where the tool is and that is called a spindle head that is going inside take a tool and start to cut this one it is showing that this is the spindle direction and it's done the first operation that is called the facing once a over facing operation is done tool is getting again on the retract that is called a axis so a axis is tilting properly and it's going back on initial position now the second toolpath is came and it's starting to cut a roughing toolpath now have a look that roughing toolpath is properly done with the help of lower turret that is called lower turret and that is called upper stream that is upper stream that is lower stream in the upper stream we have a spindle that is again going to change the tool once tool is getting changed again it's came to cut the next part so once that is cutting the face after that the lower stream cut the roughing and now the upper stream cut the finishing now as you can see here my once the finishing process is getting completed after that again my lower stream will came it's changing the tool once tool changes is done it is going to be engaged right at here and start to cut my part it is starting to cut right at here and it's cutting my part with the help of a grooving tool in a proper way now as you can see grooving is done once my grooving is done after that lower stream back to the its initial position and now upper stream is now in action my upper stream is came to near to this one area and is starting to cut like right at here this one portion with the help of a dynamic milling tool path and it's remove all this area once it's starting completed that one area it's going to an initial position change the angle and again going for the tool change once it's going to be tool change it is going inside change the tool and now the new tool is came the last one was the end mill and now the next one operation which it is going to be performed right at here that is called as drill now it's starting to cut a drill one hole second hole third hole and fourth as you can see here if you have a knowledge of basic axis so that is currently working with the help of C axis it's getting inside the again going for the tool changes and now as you can see here it's back to the initial position or a reference position of the axis and now it's starting to cut with the help of 
that one portion or that one area so again it's tilting and it's starting to cut on a y axis so as you can see here this is my first portion of y axis and this is the other portion of y axis have a look the smoothness the speed all the mill of the mill turn you can check the visibility all through should be in a perfect way in a perfect format if you don't know the basic thing like as a lathe mill and multi axis first go and learn all these things and after that you can came to learn the mill turn that is really good now as you can see it's again going to be changing the tool and now my new tool is came right at here and it will cut a new area and that should be this one portion for cutting that one portion it's that profile is in a tapered angle so according to that that spindle is getting that the same angle and starting to cut this one portion have a look i created this tool path with the help of dynamic mill and it's cutting in a perfect proper way tool is getting in a properly engaging first portion then the second portion then the third portion and after completing of all these things now it's came to the last and final that is known as the fourth portion now as you can see here my left spindle all the tool paths are getting done that is turning tool path was done the all the grooving uh, face drilling face cutting the y axis and the angle tilting all should be getting done now in the next step what will happen it will starting to create a my part should get into be transfer from the left spindle to the right spindle so have a look it's a very beautiful format when it's getting to be done so that operation is known as a poco i would show you step by step all the operations how we are done this how it's getting to be done my turret is getting this one turret is came to the park position it means it's came on a left park position now my right spindle is came near to this one and once it came to here it would hold my workpiece in a proper format spindle out spindle clamp spindle rotation and that is done and that is successfully done that is party once my parting is done again my workpiece is clamping with the support of the second spindle and it came on this one position that's all these things are very beautiful when you if you getting a chance to watch on a machine so now as you can see here that is successfully done and again my lower stream or a lower turret is came to the reference position that is that one position now as you can see here all these things are getting reference and now it will starting to cut or it's really starting to work on my second spindle so have a look first that is known as a facing once my facing is getting to be done after that we will do the same that we do with the left hand spindle tool is going again for the changing format and now as you can see here now my lower stream or lower thread is on action and it's starting to cut first the roughing once roughing successfully done it came on again reference position now my finishing tool path will starting to perform to upper turret was going for the tool changing once it's going on a tool changing have a look so now as you can see this is in a very different format that is came with a axis tilting and now it's done that is finishing tool path is also successfully completed
I just increase the speed little bit so it's cutting outside portion then the first pass then the second pass it's done so ladies and gentlemen as you can see here all things are getting to be successfully completed and now have a look this is my part which successfully completed with the help of a Milton machine where we are using the left hand spindle where we are using a right hand spindle where we are using the upper turret where we are using the lower turret so now this is my last one operation and that operation is called the drilling on a y-axis first drilling successfully done then second rotation is of first second first second then first and second now all things are getting successfully completed so as you can see here this is my final part and this is my stock so stock is completed successfully and that part and stock both are the same so if I just remove the machining portion the machining housing all these things so as you can see here this is my part in a proper way in a perfect format so I hope you will get a little idea about that how the militants are getting to be work so see you in the next tutorial where we will learn about that how we can create the tool path for this one component so it's nice to meet you all you guys in the next happy new year to 